Well, I'm here outside the Door County Maritime Museum's Sturgeon Bay facility along the downtown Sturgeon Bay waterfront. Got the Michigan Street Bridge right behind me and some big ships that typically pass through here on a pretty regular basis, even during the winter time. The Door County Maritime Museum has some wonderful exhibits and information about Door County's maritime heritage, as you might imagine. So let's go on in there and check it out. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a tour. Well, the Door County Maritime Museum here has four different distinct areas at the museum. The first one we're going to be checking out is called the Founders Gallery, and it has a history of Door County shipbuilding. Well, they do have some pretty neat things here as far as the boat building history goes. Uh, particularly here, Peterson Boat Works kind of gives you a setup of what an office may have looked like back in the day when they're doing some drafting and all sorts of laying out and engineering uh, for producing some of the boats that they made here. In several different spots here around the museum, they've got some pretty cool videos that are playing on different TVs that kind of explain a little bit in more detail uh, about the particular topic. This particular one is talking about Sturgeon Bay boat building in and around the World War II era. So it's really some fascinating information and some great moving pictures to go along with it. One of their popular hands-on attractions they've got here is a real live and working periscope that lets you look up and check out the surrounding Sturgeon Bay waterfront. And you can even see some of the pretty big ships that are across the way at Bay Shipbuilding Company and Great Lakes Yacht Services. Well, we got all finished with this one. Let's head off to the Carla and Ellsworth Peterson Gallery. Well, one pretty cool exhibit that they've got here talks about how a local salvage company, your own salvage, pulled up back in the mid-1940s a 580-foot coal and ore ship from the Straits of Mackinac. That boat was about 77 feet down, and they managed to, it was full nonetheless, and they managed to pull that sucker up and get her floating again. Talks about how they did it and shows some pictures of the process. Anybody needs me, I'll be in my office. Well, since wind only powered big boats for so long and then engines sort of took over powering the big ones, they've got both big and small engines here in their engine room. All sorts of engines from big to small to old historical ones and gauges of all sorts up on the wall here uh, to kind of show what the engine rooms were like in some of these older ships. They even have a small boat building shop here on site in the museum and Jim's in charge of that. Well we're done with this gallery. We've got the two in the basement here all finished. Let's head upstairs and check out the other two. Well, one thing not to miss as you're walking up these steps to get up to the second level is some beautiful stained glass that they had custom made just for the museum here. You can't miss it and it's in a great location as you're heading up the steps, so make sure to check that out. Well, into the Baumgartner Gallery we go. The lighthouse exhibit in this particular room is really fascinating. It talks about the history of the lighthouses here in Door County, why we needed so many up here, and even has, as you can see behind me, a working replica of a lens that was in one of the lighthouses that we did have here in Door County. They even have a kind of a neat little exhibit here on how a range light operates. And Door County does have a couple of range lights, so in case I happen to ever be the captain on a thousand foot ore carrier, I'll know what to do up here. Well here in the Horton Gallery, kind of a neat block and tackle exhibit gives you a chance to lift 10 pounds and to sample three different types of, of block and tackle arrangements. One is easier than the other, is easier than the other, and my money is going to be on the one that gives you the best mechanical advantage and the loudest squeal. Voila! Now this one looks like fun. Look at this. All aboard! Well, that about
all wraps up our tour of the Door County Maritime Museum's Sturgeon May facility here. I hope you've had a good time. They do have two other locations here in Door County, one at Cana Island and one up in Gills Rock. Those are both open in the spring, summer, and fall months, so make sure to check those out along with this spot whenever you're here next time. This particular facility is open seven days a week throughout the year, so make sure and check it out. We'll see you next time.